If you are in a professional environment where you want to deploy uh, production OpenStack Cloud on Ubuntu, the Juju Autopilot uh, method is probably the best. So how does it work? Well, Juju is an automatic service orchestration tool to deploy, manage, and scale software and services. It works together with Ubuntu's Metal as a Service uh, to help streamline the deployment of OpenStack. And Juju is based on charms, which are sets of scripts that are used uh, for the deployment. The charms are organized in bundles, which are collections of charms that are used for the deployment of services. Let me show you the uh, Ubuntu web page, where we can see the entire procedure that you need to go through in order to deploy OpenStack. So this is about OpenStack Autopilot, Autopilot, which is a solution that is based uh, on Juju. And I quickly want to talk you through the different steps that are listed here. So to start with, you need to set up your hardware. Uh, so at least five machines with two disks in each, and uh, two of which have two network uh, interfaces. And that's quite a lot, but that's also because this is for a production-ready uh, OpenStack cloud. So this is not typically what you want to run uh, for all-in-one. Step two is that you need to set up uh, some repositories as well, so that your Ubuntu can find the software that you need to use. And in step three, uh, you are going to use Metal as a Service, also known as MAS. So this Metal as a Service uh, solution allows virtual machines or physical machines to automatically uh, connect to the deployment mechanism and to come and get the deployment configuration. So in mass, you need a cluster that needs to be deployed, your hardware needs to be registered, uh, and once that is done, you can launch the OpenStack Autopilot software uh, by just uh, doing an OpenStack install. Uh, notice that right here you can see that you need to choose the Landscape OpenStack Autopilot option. A Landscape is a canonical uh, configuration software that runs from a browser and that typically needs a canonical uh, subscription as well. So this autopilot deployment uh, heavily uh, hooks into the landscape configuration and you need a landscape account. And this is what it looks like uh, from the landscape software. Next you review your checklist. You choose the OpenSec components. So you can see uh, all the components that are listed uh, in the web page where you just have to click the different solutions that you want to be using. After selecting the components, you will select the hardware on which you uh, are going to run the cloud. And once you've done that, uh, you click select to start building your cloud. And you can go have a cup of coffee or maybe, maybe even two because that will take some time. Once the deployment is finished, you can create the OpenStack account uh, to access the Horizon dashboard and monitor uh, your region and scale out. A region uh, is about partitioning of OpenStack clouds. By default, you'll have just one region, but if it's going to be a big cloud, uh, you can have multiple regions and scale out from there. Now, this deployment mechanism is not something that you want to use if you just want to learn OpenStack. This is what you want to use for real production-ready OpenStack clouds. Uh, in order to use this method, you need landscape. Uh, and that means that you need to buy something. Uh, the good news is that up to a maximum of 10 servers uh, is free, but if you want to go beyond 10 servers, uh, you need to buy a landscape uh, licenses. And that is what I wanted to show you about the Autopilot Juju uh, setup procedure.